everyone, welcome to Poppy DIY Crafts and today we're going to be making a really cute vase. Most of the supplies that we're going to be using is from Let's Resin. They sent me some samples to try so thank you so much. We're going to be using epoxy resin from Let's Resin. This one comes in two parts, parts A and B. And we're going to mix it to a ratio of 1 to 1. We're also going to be using the Butterfly and Moth collection. This set comes with 10 different types of butterflies and moths. Here they are. As you can see, they are absolutely beautiful. They come in various sizes, ranging from 1 inch to about 6 inches. Today, we're going to be using the small ones. So most of these are about an inch in diameter. We're also going to be using some communion flakes from Let's Resin. We're also going to be using some flowers from my own collection. And we're also going to add some LED lights. And finally, this is the mold that we're going to be using. It's also from Let's Resin. It is a rectangular mold with a hole in the middle to hold test tubes. And this set comes with four test tubes. Alright, let's get started. Let's first set up the mold. So this mold comes with a little insert. This insert needs to go into this space to create a hole, a little empty spot for the test tube to go through once we're done. So you want to make sure it is snug so that the resin does not leak through. Next, we're going to take the LED lights and unravel it. Then we're going to carefully arrange it inside the vase. Gotta make sure that the wires will stay on the inside and not stick out. I'm going to tape down the wire here so that it doesn't fall in accidentally. And we're going to add some of the flowers. I'm going to try to tuck it in front of the wires. Next, we're going to add some flakes. So I'm going to be using gold olive and pink olive. The gold olive is going to be on the bottom and the pink olive on the top. I'm not going to add too much. Next, let's mix the resin. I'm going to make about 8 ounces of resin, which is about 1 cup. I'm not sure how much resin the mold needs, but I think it's better to have extra than to not have enough. Now let's go ahead and pour the resin in. It's going to be a little bit tricky because it's kind of narrow. So I can see the resin flowing all the way around the vase. So far so good. We're almost all the way up to the top. So this took about five ounces. Now using the toothpick, I'm going to move things around. I'm going to try to make sure that the flowers are all coated. So I'm going to lift it away from the sides. And some of the wires floated, so we're going to push that down too. Now we can add the butterflies. I love that these butterflies are double-sided. So you can see them from the front and the back of the vase. And one more here. Now we wait. All right, everyone, so it's been a day and we are ready to demold. Oh my goodness, look at this. I think it's gonna look fantastic. Okay, so let's go ahead and pop it out the mold.
And here it is. <gasps> Look how shiny this is. Oh my goodness. So I got flowers and butterflies on this side. This back side, we can probably fill it with another layer of resin to dome it. And over here, we have more butterflies. Oh no, this one turned sideways. And more flowers. And of course, up here, we have a little space for a test tube. Let's go ahead and get one of the test tubes out. Oh, it fits in there perfectly. And let's turn on the lights. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. Oh wow, this is beautiful. I love how it turned out. This looks so good in real life. It is so, so shiny and bright. Oh my goodness, and the resin is super clear too. This is beautiful, you guys. I love this mold. And I love that you can use it as a vase. All right, everyone, so I found some lavender in my yard. So I got some flowers in the little test tube there. And as you can see, it looks great. Oh my goodness, I love how it turned out. I just really love how the resin is so clear. You don't see any bubbles in there. And the iridescent flakes are doing a great job reflecting the light. So what do you think? Do you like this vase? If you did, give this video a big thumbs up. Also, if you want to make this vase for yourself, go down to the description for the link to Let's Resin. If you use the link, you can get a discount on your next order. And as always, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!